Hi, this is Jason from the QuickBooks team. If you collect sales tax from the sale of taxable products and services, QuickBooks Desktop helps you track what you owe and pay it. Let's go over how QuickBooks tracks sales tax when you make a sale and then pay down the sales tax you owe. QuickBooks tracks sales tax whenever you record a sale. Select Create Sales Receipts or Create Invoices to start. Record your transaction like normal. Select the customer, items you sold, and any other details. Each item on the sales form has a taxable status. If the item is taxable, QuickBooks uses your sales price to calculate the taxable subtotal. Any non-taxable items or services on the invoice still add to the total, but don't affect the sales tax to collect. You can change an item's taxable status on the tax column. If you set up your customer as non-taxable, QuickBooks won't calculate any sales tax on the sale, even if the products sold are taxable. QuickBooks applies your default sales tax rate or your customer rate automatically. You can select a different rate from the tax menu. Once you record everything for your sale, select Save and Close. When your sales tax is due, select Manage Sales Tax. The Sales Tax Liability Report shows your non-taxable and taxable sales totals for each sales tax rate, and the taxes you collect and owe as of the report's date. Change the date range if you want to see sales tax from an earlier month. This report helps you calculate what you owe and what to report to your local and state tax authorities when you file. QuickBooks doesn't process your sales tax payments. You'll do that through the method your state suggests, such as the Sales Tax Authority's website. After you pay your sales tax, or if you want to print a check from QuickBooks to pay it, select Pay Sales Tax. Select the Pay box for any sales tax you paid together. Enter the bank account you used to pay the sales tax, or want QuickBooks to print a check from. Select the date you paid the tax. And in Starting Check Number, enter how you paid it, such as ACH, debit, or a handwritten check number. If you want QuickBooks to print a check instead, select To be printed. If you owe more or less than what you see for the total, check which taxes you've selected, or select the Adjust button to add or subtract taxes you owe that aren't in QuickBooks. Once you select everything you paid, select OK. On the Sales Tax Liability Report, you still have a record of what you collected from customers, and you'll see you no longer owe anything. Now you're ready to track and pay sales tax in QuickBooks.